Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 28th, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Checking out here the last 48 hours on our sun. We do have an M-class flare that was just detected, but it is not in this imagery. Still observing two Earth-facing sunspots and as well a couple coronal holes to talk about. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, no major sunspots cresting right now, but an active region through the north. As well, plasma filament and prominence in the southern hemisphere. Looking at outgoing, another large solar prominence here. Huge plasma filament there whipping around, dancing across the surface and spiraling back into our sun. Another close look at this fantastic region. Look at that whirlwind of plasma. Just amazing stuff. Really grateful to be able to share these images with you. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, the last 48 hours of events, active region there, I do believe that is the one that blew off the new M-class solar flare. Other than that, no large sunspots to talk about that are Earth-facing. 171 angstroms here, and this is where we can see the darkened regions, which are coronal holes. One is turning away, and there is another one building equatorial region. So that is set to come in next 24, 36 hours. We had quite an event here. Space weather conditions remain moderate with G2. Solar wind speed sitting at 623 kilometers per second. Have a look at the solar X-ray flux. As you can see, just recently we did have an M-class solar flare detected. Strong M-class at that. Geomagnetic activity was up over KP7 throughout the day yesterday. Look at that. Amazing stuff. Highest frequency absorption map here. Having a look at the most recent solar flare and cosmic radiation penetration right there through the East Pacific. Having a look at our magnetosphere. See the solar winds over 600 kilometers per second, still wild, wild magnetosphere, but hanging on. And this is versus the pressure planes, still an immense amount of pressure around our planet right now. Bow shock does not seem to be as prevalent today. Things will be changing here the next 24 to 36 hours. Looking at ISPWA space prediction spiral showing small CME taking off towards Mercury, backside of our sun. And then just recently, a couple minor CMEs taking off in an outward fashion, but set to give Earth a glancing blow into the 4th and 5th of March. Amazing images here brought to you by Lasco 3, showing all the events on our sun the last two days. Large CME taking off from the south. All that cosmic energy from the X-class solar flare. M-class solar flares. It's been a wild week on our sun. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 21. Quick look at the telemetry here. A little spike in the last few hours. Quality 9.5, frequency max 7.9. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're just under 200 earthquakes according to USGS across the world. Starting out here with a large 5.3 in Guatemala as well. Lots of activity here. Puerto Rico, 4.4 ranging to 3.5. New Mexico there with a 3.0 and California seeing increased activity here. Trona, California, northern parts but no major swarms to talk about. Quiet through Alaska, quiet in Hawaii. Activity here in Katsura, Japan, 5.2, as well 4.2 and 4.5, 4.0 here, Bonin Islands region, 498 kilometer depth though, 
5.1 there. Indonesia, 4.5. Papua New Guinea. And then a couple deep earthquakes here. Fiji region, 536 kilometer depth, 4.3. And as well a 4.2 reported there. Picton, New Zealand. Carlsberg Ridge, Somali Plate, 5.4. 5.2 recently here in Kangding, China. As well, a 5.0 and a 4.3 going off here in Murgab, Tajikistan. Still aftershocks from that large earthquake earlier this week. 4.5, Goresh, Iran. As well, more aftershocks, Turkey. A couple 4.4s. As well, Greece here reporting a 4.4 and a 4.5 there in the Tyranian Sea. 412 kilometer depth, though, just east of Stromboli. So heads up, Stromboli and Italy could have an eruption there from that large volcano. That is a look at the last 24 hours. A quick glance at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Take a quick moment to thank you all for watching and inviting me into your living rooms, possibly sitting around with family members, staying aware and prepared. Thank you so much for all of the love and support to this channel. We are still growing. We are now at the end of February, three more weeks until springtime, and we still have quite a few winter storms to wrap up before the end. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and most recent volcanoes, looking at Sabincaya and Fuego, Sangue and Decono, Cotopaxi in Ecuador, that's about five volcanoes getting updated today out of the possible 16 that are active and erupting across the world. Having a look here, satellite imagery, a large low pressure system through the Atlantic, heading up into Greenland and parts of northern Quebec, Labrador. You've got the west coast being penetrated by that low pressure system, bringing tons of snow towards California. As well, we've got Tropical Cyclone Judy here, who has just been named Category 3 Cyclone, heading southwards towards New Zealand. Also, Tropical Cyclone Inala, still alive, heading southward in the South Indian Ocean. And some pretty snowy systems heading into western Russia and then central regions. Having a look here at the weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky, we've got a low-pressure system on the east coast and as well one on the west coast put this into motion we're going to see some heavy snowfall totals through the sierra nevadas even knowing they've already seen almost 400 centimeters they've got more coming with this large pacific low as well an alberta clipper heading through uh, the canadian prairies and into ontario for wednesday into thursday bringing some flurries and then a watch here Thursday into Friday. We've got a vicious system heading into the Atlantic provinces. And as well, a beast of a storm here developing through Texas. Watch through the Gulf states for extreme weather event. And watch for possible 30 centimeters of snow through Ontario. By that time and next weekend, low pressure system heads into uh, Washington and Oregon border yet again. So stay tuned. Winter is far from over. Having a look here at South America. Daily evaporation rains to continue. Could be heavy at times and consistent through northern Brazil. Other than that, no major systems. Overlooking South Africa, we still have Tropical Cyclone Freddy. Who is now back out into the ocean and heading towards Madagascar again. So that's the second time that this low pressure system has raked across Madagascar. Interesting developments in the Southern Hemisphere right now. Stay tuned, I've got an interesting video to share here the next couple days. Having a look here over Europe, low pressure center there through the Mediterranean, gonna bring widespread showers, possible extreme weather through Italy, and then eastward into Greece and Istanbul. Also got Arctic outflow heading into the United Kingdom and Portugal. Parts of Morocco saw a layer of snow overlooking Southeast Asia, the West Pacific, 
Tightly whipped storms moving through the North Pacific. No major typhoons or cyclones developing in this long-range forecast. And then we get down under, where we have a low-pressure system through the Northern Territory that is slowly going to move southward, as well Tropical Cyclone Judy. And then another low moves into parts of Brisbane. And strong line of moisture sweeps across the continent. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Pacific Ocean. Very large low pressure system here northwest of Hawaii. Watch for that to stagger around and then head back eastward. Not before bringing a bunch of rain and strong winds with that for Hawaiian Islands. But this is going to be a big low in the long range forecast. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's update. If you did, please smack that like button. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.